Hi there everyone. Now you're gonna wanna buckle in because today we're getting in deep with the sharks. The red-tailed black shark, an old favorite of the aquarium hobby. Now many years ago, my parents had a fish tank which was home to a beautifully mature red-tailed black shark. I would spend hours watching this stocky muscular fish stalk the plant life and patrol its territory. Now despite its name, the red-tailed black shark is not actually a true shark. They're actually a member of the Cyprinidae family, which is a group made up of barbs, raspora, danios and shark minnows, and of which the red-tailed black shark is part of. Easily confused with its close relative, the ruby or rainbow shark, However, its distinctive features being jet black body, jet black fins apart from its bright red tail. Interestingly though, these fish have a white point to their dorsal fins when they're a juvenile. And as they mature, they go completely black with their scales displaying an iridescent green hue. In the wild, a red tailed black shark would originate from South Asia. Unfortunately, these fish are actually classified as critically endangered and strangely, between 1996 to 2011, they were actually believed to be extinct. And this is down to many reasons, and the main cause is around habitat destruction. Fortunately though, a small population was located, however things are looking bleak for our minnows in shark's clothing. Now red-tailed black sharks, they can reach a respectful 12 to 15 centimetres in length, sometimes even a bit bigger. And when they fully mature, they'll develop this deep, stocky body which you'd expect to see in carp and koi. They're a very active fish, and despite their flat underside, which would have you believe that it was actually a strict bottom dweller, the red-tailed black shark is known to utilise all of the aquarium's water levels. They do have a preference, however, and that is to be, the, to be near the lower levels of your aquarium. Now if you are new to the fish keeping hobby, it may actually come to a surprise to you that this little red-tailed black shark is actually very territorial, especially with other fish that have a similar body type, such as other shark minnows and other long um, barbs and things like that, maybe such as a rose line barb. And especially if these fish inhabit the same territorial space as your red-tailed black shark. There are two views on the best way to stock your red-tailed black sharks, and the first is to keep only one per tank. And then there's the other view of overcrowding or crowding multiple shark minnows into an aquarium, similar to what you would do with Malawi cichlids, which will help you dilute the aggression between the fish. I, however, have always stuck to the one per aquarium rule. But if you've done anything different, then let me know down in the comments what you've done with your aquariums. Now, when it comes to the aquarium itself, for a single specimen, you're going to want an aquarium of around 180 to 200 litres with more emphasis on the surface area, so the fish have more space for swimming. Decor is down to you, from hardscapes to planted aquariums, however there is absolutely no denying that these fish look really good in a lush green planted aquarium. When it comes to water requirements though, these fish have been captive bred for so long that they are capable of adapting to many parameters, and as a general rule, GH between 4 to 15 degrees, KH between 4 to 8 degrees and a pH between 6.5 to 8 and then if you're looking at your temperature anywhere between 20 to 28 degrees Celsius so you can really tell here these are not fussy fish at all. So with feeding red-tailed black sharks are omnivores probably about weighing more onto the herbivorous side but they're definitely still an omnivore fish and they will accept a wide range of foods from dried flakes or pellets algae wafers to live or frozen foods such as brine shrimp or bloodworm. They are really not picky at all and you'll sometimes spot them chomping down on the algae and biofilm that's growing around your aquarium too. Now when it comes to tank mates this is where you need to be really careful. Get it right and the red-tailed black shark should be a mildly territorial fish. Get it wrong and fighting will ensue. As mentioned earlier red-tailed black sharks are overly more territorial with members of their own species and any others that look similar to them or inhabit the same levels of the aquarium. Recommended tank mates would be fish such as a harlequin rasp or a shoal of those, some rainbow fish such as a red or bosmani, gourami such as opaline or maybe a moonlight, 
All of these fish prefer the upper levels of the aquarium, so should be less likely to intrude into your red-tailed black shark's territory. With careful planning and selective aquarium decor, a community aquarium is possible for your red-tailed black shark. Now I hope you've enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.